Away from that, as part of activities to give persons living with disabilities in Akwaibom the opportunity to air their concerns, the teachers, parents, and pupils of the Daughters of Charity School of Inclusive Education in Uyo called on the government and individuals across the state to pay attention to the needs of persons with disabilities and to encourage inclusive education for the benefits of all. Speaking with Spectrum Television, the administrator of the school lauded the government and the state universal basic education board, SUBEP, for the continuous support and monitoring, adding that more was needed to be done in providing conducive learning environment for children with special needs and increased welfare for teachers. She also lamented the flooding situation that occurs in the school during rainy season. Also speaking, one of the teachers noted that more special teachers were needed to ease the teaching process and communication with pupils with special needs. Victoria Josh, a daughter of charity of St. Vincent de Paul, servant of the poor. We have an inclusive school, St. Vincent Centre for Inclusive Education, where children with and without disability stay together in the same classroom with uh, special teachers and also teachers too, who are not special, working together. And it helps the society, it helps these children to be inclusive, even at home. And we also encourage families that have children with special needs to also bring another child with, without disability so that they can learn together. Sign language will be easier in that way at home. In the school, we encourage teachers to learn sign language I mean those that are not special teachers and also parents of these children to learn sign language. Today, they are very happy. I am Sister Scholastica Achinkumbu, a daughter of charity. I work in St. Vincent Center for Inclusive Education as an ad administrator of the school. Actually, this idea came. We wanted to let children with special needs also be recognized in the society. And so we wanted the children who don't have special needs, to accept them, to start accepting them at that tender age. When you come in here, sometimes you, it's when you are told. If not, you will not know. They, you see that they mix up very well. Unlike if they were not introduced, you know, they were not uh, introduced at that initial stage, it will be very difficult for them. Maybe when they find them out there in the society, it will be hard for them to mingle with them or even interact with them. But as they are here, they are friendly, they associate with them, they don't know, even know the difference. And even those with, who don't have a hearing impairment, they are also learning the sign language. You know, they 